It's Telethon 2.0. It's being broadcast on the web, and the whole point of it is for us to raise money locally for uh, charitable organizations in the Portland area. And then also, uh, we're licensing all of our content through Creative Commons so that other people who want to maybe use some of our material to help fundraise in their communities can do the same thing. We wanted to do something to, to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. we, we do a lot of work that isn't, it's not necessarily frivolous, but we do a, we do a lot of work that. It's um, a little frivolous. It's a little frivolous. <laughs> we could, that we could, um, uh, that I think we, we develop good content and we, um, we, we develop good entertainment, but we wanted to find a way to use that and the technology to really give back yeah. to the community. And we kind of hit upon this idea um, that, you know, taking the old-fashioned kind of telethon and, and, and bringing it to the web would be an interesting way to do that and to help charity. And that's kind of where 30-hour 30, 30 day kind of came about. We were sitting there, and we kind of, I know we had mentioned it in the past. Mm -hmm. And a couple times we kind of joked about, oh, we should do a telethon. And, and then there was one night we were sitting there getting ready to record Meme PDX, or we'd just gotten done with Meme PDX, and we said, we should really do that telephone yeah. thing. And uh, we're like, let's do it for 24 hours. Yeah. No, and then we're like, isn't enough. Then we're like, yeah, 24 hours, anybody can do 24 hours. I'm yeah. like, let's do 30 hours. That's a nice yep. round number. And then it was like, Cammie and I were going to do it. I mean, there was if we had to sit there with the, with the MacBook, we're fairly mm -hmm. stubborn. So we would have yeah. done it no matter what. It was six weeks from when Rick and I started planning it, and we really needed Dr. Normal to kind of be on board with it. Mm -hmm. And um, let's just say that he didn't immediately share our vision because he thinks we He didn't we're, quite embrace the idea yeah. right out of the gates. So it kind of took him a couple of weeks to come around. So. so it was after Thanksgiving when Dr. Normal finally said, okay, fine, uh -huh. this is what we need to do to make it work. Yeah. So that's really when like all the technical planning started. The rest of it was just Rick and I talking. Yeah. And luckily, you had a space that we could use, so that wasn't well, an issue. Guys, and yeah. yeah, the Pie Guys were very willing to, to take part in this. I think that is one of the things that was that huge. Will, that, will, that was absolutely yeah, huge. Will always stick with me is we. I think Cammy and I kept talking to people about it, hoping somebody would go. That's the dumbest Stupid. idea I've ever heard. Yeah. You guys should not do that. Stop doing that. And everybody we would talk to would be like, "That is a great idea." The actual on-hand volunteers, and I'm gonna, I think it's around 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think that doesn't include the bands that uh, that volunteered or the the uh, comedians or the actors. That's just like the staff volunteers and the people who did everything and who came in and cooked and who, uh, you know, ran back and forth like crazy people. We raised seven thousand dollars for three different charities. So um, plus <clears throat> toys and food. Plus toys and food. I think we got. A, I think we wound up with a couple big barrels of food mm -hmm. and one one big barrel of toys at least, and then probably some more. And um, so Oregon Food Bank, uh, Toys for Tots, and Free Geek were the were the charities we chose for for this one. I know Drew Olenoff did a um, a one for uh, Blame Drew's Cancer that was a 24-hour one, but mm -hmm. it was very much a podcast. And I think this is the first time that people have done like a variety show, like traditional yeah. telethon to, to, to raise money for charity. When we saw the photo of, of our logo in Times Square, that kind of really brought it, brought it all kind of around to making yeah. it something real and, and yeah. a really big deal. It and did. so that, 
that photo is just kind of one of those that captures that um, that moment and helps us remember that w what we were doing was was important and and that it wasn't um, it wasn't for naught. Everyone wanted to help and. It was so much, we thought we were going to do so much of it by ourselves. We didn't anticipate yes. having, maybe, maybe that's part of the reason we had a hard time letting go is we just didn't think anyone else would want to do it. One, one of the greatest challenges was lack of experience yeah. in doing the whole thing. But, I think but it was that kind of made the, us fearless in yeah. doing in doing certain, like I would call up random organizations or random bands and say, you know, do you want to do this? Yes, it's only four weeks away, but can you, can what you, you get, doing that day? Yeah, can you get it on your schedule? And and so many of those were, you know, we had some we had some near misses that were, um, the fact that they even considered being part of it really yeah. kept us energized throughout the whole thing. So we'd have this series of highs and lows. I think, you know, I think the um, the mayor's office was that another was good amazing. Example. You know, we yeah. we reached out to them fairly early on and said, you know, would it even be possible to to get you know the mayor down or to to get some kind of endorsement? And they're like. Let's get you on the calendar, and and we'll get an interview with him. And that really, you know, that not only bolstered us, it it lended this whole new air of credibility to what yeah. we were trying to do. I don't think we could do it outside of Portland and have the same effect. Mm -hmm. Outside of Portland, you'd have to. I'm not even sure how you would manage to wrangle that. The Portland yeah. community is so close. And they, everyone seems to have a desire to do something nice for somebody. No matter, it doesn't matter if they know them or who it is. It's just that everyone seems to have a really good nature and want to help each other out. It's July 2nd and 3rd. Yeah, it's July 2nd and 3rd. <laughs> we have, a, you know, we have kind of our, um, even going into this one, like one of the, even going into the first one, we kind of created this, you know, blue sky dream list of people we'd like to have on the show or yeah. who might be potential and that kind of thing. And so that's, I mean, that's really the phase we're in now, um, trying to figure out, you know, what artists or people or interviews would, would we be able to maybe get and, and participate in the show. There's and, stuff we have to know before we can, and that's not even us being clingy to the project. There's stuff that we need to know yeah. before we can open it up because until we know, like, our venue, et cetera. Right. We can't, yeah. And we have some ideas about uh, some things that will either... We have some really good ideas. We have some good ideas about things that will, uh, you know, either bookend the event or, um, or be part of the event.